Hello friends, today I am going to start Query MCLR version 6 part 3. I hope this will be my last part of a Query MCLR series because I got maximum best result which I can achieve in my home. Let's start. I hope you have seen part 1 and part 2 because both are linked with this part. In part 1 I said there was a leakage in evaporator coil and the water came in condenser and compressor. From here I have removed the old evaporator, this one. It has SS stainless steel 60 feet length pipe 6 mm dia. It was working best from last 2 years but now there is a leakage in this pipe that's why I have to remove this and modify the system. No, I will not use this one. Operator box is SS box stainless steel inside box and outside round copper pipe 1 by 4 inch dia 70 feet length. When I open this then I see too much water inside condenser. I have to clean this one with CTC chemical because this one is copper pipe. So I can use CTC chemical in copper pipe. Next, when I open this compressor FR11G, I take out its oil in bowl and there was too much water in that oil. So I start this for 15 minutes to remove the vapors present in this compressor. After 15 minutes, it become hot too much because there was no oil inside this. Don't run more than 15 or 20 minutes because the compressor can damage. But it should be heated. When I touch my hand, it become too much hot and after 15 minutes, it become trip on overload. During running, I put my finger on this discharge line to do the flushing. At that time, too much vapors or gas emit and 100% water removed. I don't have used oil, so I add new oil 250 ml in this compressor and then move it left, right, up, down so that that oil move everywhere inside this compressor and then run 5 minutes. After that take out that oil and throw it. Leave it for 15 or 20 minutes in sunshine to 100% confirm that there will be no chance of water inside this compressor. Then fill 325 ml new oil. After that it was ready to connect. Next I connect the capillary 36 number 5 feet length new one. Also change this filter 20 gram and make it ready for vacuum. I can make minus 25 or minus 30 psi vacuum in 10 minutes or 15 minutes but better to keep vacuum for 30 minutes so that there will be no chance of any moisture or any air inside the system and then leave it for 30 minutes or 40 minutes to check if there is any leakage then vacuum will break. After that I charge the gas. I filled 260 gram gas. That time it looks that I have charged more gas because I have seen ice on my return pipe. There are two reasons of this ice. Let's discuss one by one. First reason of this ice on return pipe is the lay pattern of this operator pipe. If we see in the freezer or fridge, let's see here is a compressor discharge line filter then capillary then this is the operator we see operator pipe is laid inside the freezer or fridge with a distance of 5 inch or maybe 6 inch between both lines because we have too much space in the freezer or fridge 
to lay this 70 or 80 feet complete length of pipe. But in my aquarium chiller, I have very less space and I lay the pipe very close, layer wise, layer wise, there is no gap between these pipes. So once here ice will start from top pipe, it will quickly move towards down and then it then <coughs> And then within 5 or 10 minutes, that ice will come on this return pipe. But here, the distance is too much. The ice will start from here. Its effect will come here after 10 minutes. Then it will take little more time, more time. So it will take too much time to reach the ice here. Second reason, this box was empty at that time. There was no water in this box. Once the ice start making here, it come quickly on return pipe. Expert persons can charge the gas as per their experience, but I am not expert. I am telling everything on my experience which I learned in last three years. It can be plus minus. So if any doubt, any friend can discuss with any expert and then he can do. Now the next point R134A gas standing pressure must be 95 R. 85 to 95 psi. I tried to find on net too much but could not find that 95 psi at which ambient temperature. That is very important. It means if I have to fill the gas in this room then I have to check what is the ambient temperature in this room. Like now it's 30 degree around 29.4 or let's say 30 degree. So at this temperature as by my experience this 95 psi should be when compressor is in stop condition like now it's stop and this pressure I have connected the gauge and it's showing 95 or 90 let's say this is the same amount of gas 260 gram which looks more because that time ice came on the return line but now at this temperature it's exactly 95 psi when I make this at that time ambient temperature was 18 degree that's why at that time standing pressure was 55 psi that is not less because if we see pt chart on net then we will see this relation of temperature and r134a gas on every 3 degree temperature increase 10 psi pressure will increase so when ambient temperature will reach at 36 degree in June or July because this is now April in after next two months standing pressure will be 115 if I will increase the gas at this time 75 or 95 then at this temperature it will be more than 150 and my compressor will not take the start and it will trip on overload and if I will charge less gas then cooling will be less this system with this condenser, operator, compressor, this pipe length, if I will fill 260 gram R134A gas, then it will work best. It can be plus minus 270 or 250 as per ambient temperature, as per situation, plus minus can be done. Next point is running pressure. For that, I have to start this. And this is FR11G. It's 1 by 3 HP compressor, so its current will be too high. It will draw 2.2 ampere and if it will draw continue this current, then electric bill will be too much. So to reduce this current, I used running capacitor with this and reduce its current to 1.2 ampere or 1.3 ampere. That's very economical now. I will discuss this point next. I have started the system. Here current is 0.16 because only fan is running at this time compressor is not running its 3 minute on delay time is remaining after 3 minute it will run at this side I have connected this water without water ice will come at this return pipe after 10 or 15 minutes without this water this water flow sensor YF-S201 will not allow to start this here is the circuit for this one after water flow this will give the signal next and at this time temperature is 25.2 degree of this water 
only 3 or 4 liter water but it will be ok for analyzing the system. And ambient temperature at this time in room is 30 degree. To reduce the current I have connected running capacitor these are two running capacitors I will explain next. To connect these running capacitor this is the circuit without this circuit if I will connect the running capacitor then compressor can damage. I have explained this in another video I will put the link in description anyone can see from there. This one is the starting capacitor 80 to 110 microfarad. It has no link with this running capacitor. 5 minutes passed that is why this temperature start coming down 24.9 and now compressor current is 1.8 ampere 1.9 ampere at this meter and this was showing 2.1 because it will show 0.2 more that is why 2.1 ampere wattage is 284 and power factor is 0.59 or 0.6. Now if I connect the running capacitor then we will see before connecting running capacitor we have to see this circuit should be on. Now this is on because it has 40 second on delay time after 40 second this circuit will on this relay and from this relay I can connect the running capacitor. Now I connect both capacitors and then we will see what will be result wait here connected 10 microfarad or oh, same time I connect this 4.5 both are connected very carefully and my system is running with 1.17 current and here if we see power factor 0.91 this is the best result I can achieve with 14.5 microfarad capacitor by improving the power factor I reduce the current 1.1 from 1.9 ampere but this will not give me the benefit to reduce my electric bill why let us discuss on this power have two components active and reactive electric bill came on active power that is why if I see at this meter this is 300 watt with 0.93 power factor if I remember before when I did not connect this running capacitor the power factor was 0.59 or 0.6 and my current was 1.9 but this power was near about 290 or 300 watt same like this. It means this running capacitor is not working. There is no benefit of this running capacitor. Let us talk little bit on this point. In short this running capacitor will make the compressor cool because this extra current which was passing from here is stopped due to this running capacitor and my system will remain cool due to this reduce in temperature of compressor. Its efficiency will increase and it cool more then it trip quick and my electric bill will be less. The more detail on running capacitor I have explained in another video I will paste the link of that video in below description any friend can see from there. And now the running pressure is 4 psi. It looks very less need to increase the gas but I will tell again that at this place ambient temperature is less that is why this 4 psi or 3 psi pressure is ok. When I will install this system on my aquarium in next month when ambient temperature will be 35 degree at that time this running pressure must be less than 8 psi if I will increase the gas and at that time if running pressure will increase to 10 psi then there is a chance that this compressor can trip. It is my 90 gallon cichlid tank I have installed the chiller this one on this tank now tank temperature is 28.4 degree and here is temperature controller which I made with Arduino it will trip on 27.5 degree. I reduce the temperature just for checking otherwise 
the trip temperature will be 28 degree. It means here the tank temperature will remain 28. Yesterday on table when I was doing R&D, there the water temperature was 20 degree. That's why the current was 1.2 ampere on this meter and compressor temperature was 35, 36 degree. Here power factor is 0.94, 1.6 ampere current which is also a little bit more. Let's see the wattage. Wattage will, wattage will be more 345. It's also a little bit increased before it was 300. Now if I check the compressor current because this one is compressor plus condenser fan total and now this compressor current is alone here is 1.2 yesterday it was 1 ampere and now 0.2 ampere increase because the refrigerant temperature increased due to this evaporator temperature increase as 28 degree water is going inside. I have connected here one temperature sensor or condenser and its temperature is now 44.7. Today ambient temperature also increased to 32, little bit hot. Thanks God it's working best. To get more better results, the water flow minimum should be 1000 liter per hour. That's why I have used this pump NS803. It's 2000 liter per hour water flow, 35 watt. Here I have connected this one. On this meter, I have water flow because I have water flow sensor YF-S201 on my aquarium chiller. So if I press this setting button, this is cooler water flow, 75 hertz and 570 liter per hour. This pump was 2000 liter per hour, but maybe due to this pipe length, the water flow decreased to 580 liter per hour. It means if I can use bigger pump than this, then that will be more good. Hope this video will help someone. Still, if I did something wrong, then please tell me in comments so that I can make it correct. Thanks for watching. Take care. Bye-bye.